All right. It is also a very big week for the Detroit People's Food Co-op. They have had what they call a soft opening this week. A lot of people have now signed up to be members of the co-op. Oh, so Kari Hobbs, who is on our Local 4 Plus team, got a chance to catch up with the organizers. Hey, Kari. Um, hey you know, we were talking about this this week. This has been a long you know, time in the making for these organizers to put together this co-op. Absolutely. How many years? About 14? I, I, I heard about 14. Yeah. yeah. And then, you know, uh, when, when I first even started bringing it up, they were at like 2,500 members now they're at 3100 they had uh, 3000 as their as their you know what they wanted What's their goal? so it's, yeah. it's, 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 it's a great thing that's happening and earlier this morning I got to talk to uh, Lene Gilbert Williams uh, about the whole thing she's the board president and we we kicked it for a little bit all right <laughs> Congratulations, you first uh, opened your doors on Wednesday, which was May 1st. Uh, what was the reception like? Oh, man. Uh, member owners and the community alike walked in excited. Many people were in tears, which kind of caught me off guard. So they were crying, saying, we did this. That really, really matters. So we were very well received. A lot of chatter. It sounded like a marketplace, not the quiet buzz that you normally hear, if at all, in a grocery store where you can only hear the music. No, right. there was conversations in line while shopping. It literally sounded like a marketplace. It was phenomenal. Okay, so since, since we're we're getting into it, let's just for the people that don't know what is a co-op and why is it different from any other grocery store? A co-op has um, multiple owners. So right now we're at 3,100 owners and counting. Wow. This means that the community gets to weigh in on and actually make decisions uh, that help govern the co-op as opposed to a typical grocery store that has a private owner. Speaking of the community, you are located in North End. So what was missing yeah. in that area where you know you all felt the need to have the co-op in the first place? So a big thing about this area is, first, it hasn't had a new grocery store to come up in quite a while. Um, there is, um, like, many pockets of Detroit uh, gas stations that people shop at to uh, get food from. Uh, there are, you know, many stores around, dollar stores, things like that. Uh, there's a grocery store in the one grocery store that's in the area. And then you have grocery stores in either direction a few miles down north and south of this area. So not a lot of selection definitely not black led uh, we don't have any black owned grocery stores in the area uh, so that's a that's a big thing for the community it's a big plus for the community uh, for the majority of members in the Detroit's community to feel like they have ownership to know that they have ownership of a food system um, but this brought more healthy food to the area we carry products that you would find in a typical Detroit grocery store, but we also have additional products that you would not. All right, good stuff, Kari. So when it. Yeah, when is their, um, their grand opening? So grand opening is the 18th, so a couple weeks. Uh, she, she said expect all types of fun, uh, bouncy houses, snacks. It's going to be a good time. I'll, I'll, I'll be there. Good stuff. All right, good stuff. All right, thanks so much, Kari. We'll yes, be watching indeed. that. You want more information about how to join and whatnot, head to clickondetroit.com. We've got all of that stuff for you there.